Hello everyone, welcome back to Friendly Fire. And I'm back in my game of Final Kingmaker. And last time we started the run around in this area. And now we were killing some bandits. There are some mana bandits that we can bring. <coughs> Let's see what they have to say. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You see three peasants in an ancient oak as they talk loudly among themselves. I found it. What? Where? Show us. Nay, nee, wasn't nothing. Just Damn stuff. The man hits the trunk of the tree with his hammer, then winces and massages the hand. Well, put it into a fat smell with your left hand. And what gold would that be? The man jump up and press stare. Next to the oak's massive trunk, they never take their eyes off you as they lean towards what you are and say, You barely get the word fairness and treasure. Gold, ah, uh, nothing like that here, milady. The bravest of them nods and they quickly do the same. And just, well, Edgar there here is too bold. Eric's gonna marry Martha, you see. The third man adds, they were gonna carve their names into the trunk here. I was gonna carve a picture of her tits too, but the abbot said that was too old. Well, she heard us. The third one mutters a quiver in his voice, so much for our gold. Tell me the truth. But you can, my patience was a thin. We are searching for gold here, my lady. The traveling bards spent the night now winning all the tales about the attacks of barbarians and the chieftains who led their hordes here long ago. At the end, he said he knew where the barbarian chieftain carried the promised. We paid him two gold. He wanted three, but we could only get a two. He told us only one gold. <laughs> that part was too generous to use. If it was me, I'd have thrown them in the dead pen, but I would have managed ten gold at least. The best thing I could do for you was to play tell me you believe this rough about it. Hidden treasure. <laughs> well, let's take the knowledge. As you recall, there were barbarian tribes that rode across these lands long ago. Moreover, they buried their chieftains in cairns with all their earthly possessions. However, all the known cairns are far to the east or northwest. Uh, yeah. Uh, why aren't you worried about wandering around this plenty? It can be dangerous down here. We've lived all our lives around here, my lady. Got nothing to be scared of. If we meet a kobold, we hit him hard. If we meet a wolf, we climb a tree. And if a dog comes round, we run as fast as we can. Hmm. As for bandits, we are not afraid of them. We don't cross us because we don't have two coins to scrape together.
he old oak has no enchantment. It doesn't exclude the possibility that the treasure is there. May simply be hidden too deep. Okay, lawful loot. We'll share the treasure. Hmm. Lawful eating. These lands are mine and will be. Go ahead and fell the tree. I'll wait to see what's hidden beneath it. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have told the Baroness about the treasure. Time to flee the barony. I'd say with a Baroness like that, we'll never get any treasure. Can't believe we're wasting precious time because you... Uh, Jubilus trades for some cops. Actually, I know of a place where a fountain of ale flows freely from the stone. I can pay you for a modest fee. Paid in advance, of course. <laughs> okay. After several hours of digging and chopping, the ancient tree finally yields the old creeks indignantly as it separated in four parts, its remaining roots dangling in the air. There's nothing over the tree but several worms in the mold. Yeah, the villager says perplexed. What happened? Did the bard lie to us? Because we'll pay too little and he held a grudge. I told you, don't be greedy, I said. Get your stash out of this here tree. And what did you do? Ah, oh, come on. This was stupid. I know which way we hid it. It's only been half a day. We could still We'll get on our knees before him, empty our pockets if we need, if need be. He'll forgive us, then he'll tell us where the treasure really is. Let's go, come on. Okay, this was stupid. And we have a bar. Um, well, that's okay because it's going to rain anyway, and I hate it to run around in the rain. Let's leave and make camp outside of this tower. And hopefully it doesn't rain when we get them again. Oh, wait, we should also try to. Hey, come on, I'll just. Look at Lord Strider, I really don't need this. Bad blade or magic fire? Hmm. I mean, how it can go. Oh, Complex bonus and ranged attacks. A critical multiplier for your bows and crossbows becomes 19 to 20. Yeah, that's good. Um. Could enhance our bow or enhance our bow. I mean, we are doing more damage with the bow, so let's do this. Magic thing is good, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Please be careful with me. Okay. 
I mean, we don't have enough of solitude misty to reduce it about this point of attracting monsters and enemies. The chance of attack increases for every guard shift that begins during the night. Interesting. But he's better than one of them. Mm -mm. Some bonus on all saving throws. Yeah, let's do the hack. Shed their blood with you. I'm unkind. <laughs> Atram, my dear friend, I'm incredibly kind, tolerant, and placid towards our entire troop, even to those who may not deserve it. Besides, what you call unkindness, I call honesty. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> the troop. Really? I spoiled the haggis. Too bad. Let's enter again. Uh, we start there again. Really? There's no way up there, is it? Nah, and it still rains. Uh. At least it doesn't rain as much anymore. Quiet footsteps. I think also that there should be one enemy still, but a big plant can remember is there. Uh, it's wolves, not plants. Again. Really? A troll hound? Stab their back. We lost about this. Really? Yes. <sighs> no. Your life ends low. 
This was easy. We've got all our mines. Precisely. Let's go. to command. Everything has a price. Your death awaits. The forest has cared for everyone. Today it shall present you food, tomorrow it will be yes. someone else. This time... A fine use of my talent! We will prevail! Kill. You. Not doing it wrong. Spell is flawed. Do not falter. Okay, um... Really? You rolled a one. Bring it. He comes as he does. Behind me! 
Okay, ähm. Den Turm für. Use the one of our roads. Ah, come on. Really? So they won't wake up. Let us try his work. Hey. <sighs> Come on, just throw. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Okay. So this is more or less <coughs> the end of the map. This direction. Then let's just move in this direction. Any mushrooms? Ooh, one parchment. Let's go. And let's read. Um, there it is. Ah, you shouldn't wear it. You should read it. Ancient parchment of words written by feeble hand, discovered with age and barely visible. Every morning I wake up as a 20 year old boy. It's the best morning of my life. For today is the first time I take over the post at the watchtower of the Blue Road. Every morning I open my eyes and I and see the house horrified. I grope my grey beard with my mouth bread. I slowly realize that there is no shield road anymore. Uh, what was I? And it's been this way for more years than I can count. I must be older now than the decrepit organ was when he died and left me alone. Unforgiving time has eroded both the stones of the tower and my flesh of mine. All is that before, 
the only thing time it's the whole thing has no point. I do that it's my duty to God something hidden inside the statue, but I don't remember what exactly. Am I God? The key I wear hanging on my neck and my golden cord. Where is the Waradash's white book? Where is the Waradash's white book? I don't remember what happened to the secret I have in this book. When it's Keeper Gorgon White, I don't know. Every morning I go around the neighborhood looking for people. I haven't seen any for years. Neither traders nor bandits. Sometimes my mind tricks me and I look the cold chapter to be the deep memories of the dark to be true. I guess my feeble mind entertains itself with illusions. I've been hoping for too long to see the day when Gordon falls return and restore the road. Now I seriously doubt there is any one of my kin left in this world, or any anyone alive at all. Maybe some unimaginable plot that raised away every single living soul in the whole of Gomorrah, except for me. If someday, um, if someday someone returns to these parts and manages to read this, they will know our names. This town is built by dwarfs of the Oradash Sacred and Langbach clan Center, 4241. It was abandoned in 4499. We, the last few, were left behind to keep our eternal watch for the glory of Gorak and the Dwarven people. Our names were Gauvin Skin and Varking, but it was our free choice, and we have no regrets. God remember us. Okay, so we need a third, um, a third as well. We only have two. <laughs> Unlike the Time One Watchtower, the statue of Gorik is placed in an impressive condition. The Dwarven Dwarf Hill tends to look almost a cut of the statue of Gorik when combined with the surrounding devastation. Karim gives the statue a long look and spits on the ground without saying a word. Ekum bows his off his head and with difficulty turns into the statue. We feel the protection of God. Your intuition tells you that you may be hiding something well in you. After several hours searching, you discover a hidden panel with a niche above it. In the niche, a set of grooves adorned with fine symbols seems to be connected with something deeper inside. The statue it seems that access to Torek's treasure will, will require the missing corks. No matter how you fit it, the cork won't rotate. Seems you'll need all three of them to open the panel. Okay. I think the fourth one is somewhere around here. Remains of Paul Road. I barely visible. Ah, there is, I think, one. Ah, yes. Level 7, only 39 hit points and 33 hit points. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Stay on your toes. I'll loot your corpse. Stop you! A clever ploy! Give the order. A 
fatal mistake. Hide from me. Okay. You're such a monster, Miri. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Stab their back. Yeah. Will they ever learn? <laughs> no, of course not. Repent. Oh, come on. Really? And another forty one. I came close. No, you don't. Hmm, there is another one. <laughs> Need it all. Come on. Okay. Not poor. A fine use of my talents. Mm -hmm. Stay behind me. That's easy. Oh. Once long ago, the stupid watchtower rose above the wall. When the enemies approached, they were 
I should stop here and read this only in the next episode. Because mm. half an hour is gone already. Mm. I walked around the town slowly, moving his things around, trying to find the stone. I like a place to find this peaceful, quiet. Here one is bound. The citadel of which awaits us sooner or later. Yes. Out in his admiration of the ruins. <clears throat> Jubilos kicked a mossy stone. If I had a tube of the necessary ingredients, we wouldn't need to climb anywhere. I'd make the upper level come to, to us itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could climb it. Oh, I can't die. You have a climb it. That's great. That's great. This guy is climbing it. I mean, he just has to roll a three. I can't buy your death to climb the stones, even as they crumbled beneath his feet. The next door he found what must have been a living room a century ago. There were even diamonds, but it didn't take long at but it didn't take a condio much effort to get it to the legend from the cellar. The chest fell to the ground, to the stone pillar in the heart of the rock. A huge cloud of dust rising around it. The wood had darkened after years of exposure to the sun and rain. The metal side had grown a layer of rust and Barely discernible, even so, the chest of stone was as robust and secure as, and secure as the day it was made by some unknown dwarven master and of course the last owner. <laughs> okay, the chest is 25, wisdom 25, strength 27. Really? Let's search for the the key first. Oh, we found it. That's good. We ended up searching. This was 25, which it was what we needed to search the stone after the exciting success. We found the key. In a small niche that had been covered with rubble. Despite its age, the dwarven lock was still operational. We found the key and the chest of the stone opened with a slow click. Inside, we found the simple possessions of a fallen warrior who must have once taken, who have once been stolen from his clan. Battle gear consisting of a mail, a helmet, a shield, and an axe. A pair of bronze traveling boots and a metal tank. And a key tied to a hidden chest, which had been occupied over the years, and now proved only a little bit of part of the chest of metal core. Yay, we got it. I know I tend to buy the breastplate. Good. Mm, I know and a suit belt and apron. I think we now have all of the apron and these suit belt and things. I hope so at least. Okay. Now we've stopped. No, where are you going? Come here. Let's open this up. Unlike the time one watchtower, this blah 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 blah. We heard this before. Okay. 
you have all three cogs, but you're not sure how to put them into the mechanism. Maybe the arcane markings inside are blue. What's the problem? Ring rumbles as he snatches the cogs from you and places them inside the mechanism. This one goes here, that one there. <laughs> you rotate the cork and hear a rumbling noise from the statue. Following the sound out, click the panel opens, revealing the complex skeleton here. Okay, where is the treasure? Recycle of onion soup. Great. And bread. Which is more than one thing. And a full plate of bread. It seems great. You surely want to eat it. Who thinks? Now we have an AC for your living um, tank. What's that? Uh, the out of physical perfection plus two. Don't have a very plus enhancement permanent to strength, dexterity, and constitution. Ooh. Nice. So, mm, probably for you or for Amiri, or I think even cheaper for you because you need strength and dexterity. Fine. I mean, constitution is okay also. And we found a weapon. What's that? A troll reaper. It's a two handed great axe. We make 15 to 29 damage right now. We found a new weapon for you. This one's much better. You have a higher chance to hit and you're doing more damage. Plus you're doing acid damage. That's great. That's exactly the weapon you need. Okay, this is the point where we'll stop because we are through with this um, with this episode. Okay, until next time. I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye.